Hey, I wanted to do another level design exercise video. This is a quick one. So the idea with this is to get a macro level layout done. This could be any type of level or any genre. This is something to do quickly, very, very quickly. This took me less than an hour to do the top down and the level layout. The goal with this is to not stress out about this at all. You don't wanna worry about the interiors. Now you can have a mental note while making this of where you imagine those things will be like the windows, the doors and so on. But you do not wanna get into those details just yet you want to worry about the macro shape of this level. And I also want to say when I do this, this is not for a portfolio piece. This isn't really even anything to share. You can if you want. This is a low level way of practicing the tools and to do something informal. So to kind of break the mold of having this structural plan of I need to do a top down, I need to do a, a flow map, I need to do this, this, this is just to stay loose. In my opinion, the best things that I've ever made professionally has been when I just jumped straight into the editor and started making. And you end up finding that you have less constraints that way. And constraints are good, but a lot of times, I don't care who you are or how prof how many years you have in the industry, a lot of times those constraints do hinder the, the sight of making something more interesting or different because you have to, when, when you have constraints time-wise and a bunch of other constraints, you kind of limit yourself because you know that you have to be realistic with making something and getting it done. So this is a way to just get in, make some shapes, make a layout. Now there's gonna be a lot of design flaws and issues with this and it. The, the goal is to probably not even keep this. Uh, it's again, to just kind of get loose find some interesting shapes. This is more prototyping. Just these are things that you're going to most likely just throw away and that's totally fine. That's the best part about design is just finding something that is interesting. You can make something really quick like this and it's really rough and ugly. And there may be something that you can take from this and actually put more effort and details into it to make it even better. Cause there's a lot of times where you look for inspiration from the outside but you never look from inspiration from the inside and I consider this as more inspiration from the inside you just turn things off and you just go and you make things and you don't have to overthink things and uh, oh this line of sight over here is busted or and that just leads to me personally it may not be for everybody and that's totally fine but for me personally that leads to inspiration from the inside like just to get things out and then kind of take it and mold it into something better. And so also I kind of touched on earlier is I know a lot of junior designers that I have mentored in the past, they will make something like say they're making a map and they start with a building and then they get stuck on that building for days or, or weeks. And I'm, I asked them why and because they're like, oh, because this issue came up, this issue came up, that issue came up. You can't get stuck in that. There's always, always going to be issues. I've made things professionally and have shipped professionally and there's still issues with them. There's always going to be issues. You have to get the bigger picture done. You cannot focus on the small stuff early on. You have to get something. You, ha In order to get a picture in the frame, you have to make the frame. And that's what this is, the frame. And then once you get the frame, you need to make a beautiful picture. And then that's the details and that's the, you know, the more uh, smaller uh, pathing windows, line of sights and cover and all, and all that. That's the picture. So you wanna worry about the frame and then worry about the picture. That's what I'll close on. Hope you enjoy.